Hello, my name is Mike Rocca and I'm a CAT Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today I will be going through the FDOT Civil 3D Subassembly Composer Training Guide. In this series of videos I will take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today we will start with Chapter 2, Fixed Subassemblies. Let's begin. First, open Autodesk Subassembly Composer from the All Programs Autodesk Autodesk Subassembly Composer menu. Next, select File and then open the file 20 fixed straight .pkt. This will be in your Projects folder. Under the project number 2204955201, then go to Roadway and then find the 2.0 fixed start.pkt file and click Open. Next, grab the point from the geometry toolbar and drop it under the start icon on the flowchart panel. Notice and review the Properties panel automatically updated upon the point creation. The point is automatically assigned a point number from the point and is set to origin. Notice and review the preview panel with the point created. Grab the point again from the geometry toolbox and drop it under the point previously created, P1. Notice that the new point, P2, is automatically assigned and a link is automatically created. Under the Properties panel, under the Point Geometry type, change the type to Slope and Delta X. Under the Point Geometry Properties, from Point 1, Slope of negative 2% and Delta X so after changing the type to slope and delta x, under point geometry properties select from point 1, slope of negative 2% and delta x for 10. On the preview panel select the fit to screen button to visualize the point and link created based on the geometry parameters previously created. Again, grab the point from the geometry toolbox and drop it under the point previously created. Notice that the new point, point 3, is automatically assigned and a link is automatically created. Under the Properties panel, verify that the type under Point Geometry Type is set to Delta X and Delta Y. Under Point Geometry Properties, select From Point 2, type in 0 for Delta X and negative 1 for Delta Y. Again, select the Fit to Screen button. The link and the points are then created. Again, grab the point from the Geometry Toolbox and drop it under the point previously created, Point 3. Notice that the new point, point 4, is automatically assigned a link and is automatically created. Under the Properties panel, verify that the type under Point Geometry is set to Delta X and Delta Y. Under Point Geometry Properties, select from point 1, type in 0 for Delta X, and then type in negative 1 for Delta Y. The preview panel is automatically updated. Next, grab the link in the geometry toolbar and drop it under the point previously created point 4. So grab the link option, drag it under point 4. Notice that the new link, link 4, is automatically assigned and a link is automatically created. Under the properties panel, change the link position. Select start point 3 and end point 4.
the preview panel is updated. The geometry so far is made out of links and points. In order to create a shape, grab the shape from the geometry toolbox and drop it under the link that you previously created, link 4. Notice that the new shape S1 is automatically created. Out of the Properties panel, on the Component Links, click the green cube icon located on the right side. Place a data point anywhere on the rectangle made by points and links on the Preview panel. A new shape S1 is automatically created. So far, the shapes and links and points are static. They are defined by a geometry established under the Properties panel. Nothing at this point is targeting anything. We will make point 2, or P2, be defined by a slope and distance as defined previously, or this point may also be targeting an offset alignment. This concludes Chapter 2.